The term globalization refers to increasingly interconnected nature of international trade and is driven by technology and government policies designed to open free trade. This expansion of markets beyond domestic economies has brought many benefits to nations around the globe. Firms increasingly have access to consumers around the globe and access to new resources can help lower costs. Globalization can boost economic development in poorer countries and help raise standards of living. Outsourcing by large corporations can bring new jobs and technologies to these nations, which boosts their economy. The result can be viewed as higher economic efficiency via globalization and free trade. Free trade agreements are agreements that allow participating nations to trade without tariffs or quotas. The most notable example of this type of agreement for the United States is the North American Free Trade Agreement known as NAFTA a trade agreement signed into law involving Canada, the United States, and Mexico. A more integrated version of a free trade agreement is called an economic union. In an economic union, member nations often have free trade agreements, a common trade policy with nations outside the union, and coordinate their monetary and fiscal policies. The best example of an economic union is the European Union, a union of 28 European member states. Free trade agreements are designed to reduce barriers to trade and allow nations to gear trade towards their comparative advantages. This leads to higher economic activity, higher overall wage levels, and attainment of a level of goods and services that would ordinarily be outside the production possibilities frontier. Overall, free trade agreements lower costs and deadweight loss via increased efficiency. Some criticisms of free trade agreements are valid. These agreements can lead to poor working conditions as international companies outsource jobs to cheaper labor markets in emerging market countries where there is less regulation. Larger countries may lose jobs to outsourcing, and one of the greatest criticisms of NAFTA was the loss of U.S. jobs to Mexico. Free trade may also lead to depletion of natural resources as emerging market countries engage in strip mining and deforestation practices in the absence of environmental protections. Globalization and free trade allow producers to best utilize their comparative advantages. This leads to increased trade, leads to an increased demand for productive workers, and causes the average level of wages in an economy to rise. However, this does not mean that everybody benefits and that all wages rise. Workers whose industries are exporting more in the global market will see their wages increase because of demand, but workers who are in an industry that sees increased competition and imports from global markets may see their wages decrease. Many nations have poor working conditions and economists must analyze whether the trade makes the nations better off and whether this type of production gives citizens better job opportunities. For example, the outsourcing of a service job to a country that pays low wages may seem like a detriment to the worker who takes the job, but what if the alternative is that service job was unsafe factory work that paid less? The outsourcing of the service job increased the standard of living through higher wages and increased job safety.